now, we ask you to direct your attention to the City Vision Board in center field as we relive some of the memorable moments from Mike Piazza's Hall of Fame career. Hi, this is Mike Piazza, catcher of the New York Mets. Hi, Mike. He loved baseball more than he loved life. He was relentless, his attitude, his work ethic, every day, and he never gave up. He's a guy who always liked to compete. He liked to compete to win. Mike's the type of guy that could uh, carry a team. Perfect. We'd stop him for working. In the winter, we, we would shovel the cage out, and he'd hit for hours. He never would have stopped. And I knew at that time we had something special. I thought I hit the ball as good as he does when I was 16. Right from here, rather than going out and getting it, right? I hit more times than the time. It's actually one of the best stories in baseball history. 62nd round pick. Which went to over a thousand players drafted ahead of him. There wasn't a lot of hype around Mike when he first came up, but you started seeing the numbers that he was putting up in Los Angeles. He was maybe the brightest star in the game. He was in place that would send Gary Sheffield, Bobby Bonilla to Los Angeles for Mike Piazza. The trade unfolded almost in slow motion. Everybody knew the Marlins were going to flip him and move him as soon as possible. The Mets fans get to enjoy the New York style. The Yaks the All-Star catcher trade to the Mets. The fans are juiced about the arrival of the five-time All-Star. We're going to make a trade to one. We knew soon to be enough that we were going to make God's and going to blow the world up. And, and it did in New York baseball. I heard the rumors that we had trade to uh, the Yaks. I said, oh, I, I believe when I say that. Here's Colin Mike up the tunnels on Shea Stadium. So it's through now. We had a different uh, walk, a little different bounce in our step. Big day has been back. This one hit the left field. Piazza has his first home run as a man. We were excited that we were getting a superstar. He was a premium star of the game. And he was. Absolute confusion 
until Mike hit that ball. And then there was an absolute clarity of what we were doing and why we were doing it. From Norristown, Pennsylvania, drafted in 1988 in the 62nd round. Today, he calls Cooperstown home. Michael Joseph Piazza. No fans rock the house like Mets fans. The thing I miss most is making you cheer. It's a really, really big deal. It is quite simply the highest honor that a team can bestow upon one of its players. Consider for a moment the select few who have earned this honor in the 54 year history of our team. Number 37, Casey Stengel, the Mets' first manager and the father of this franchise. Number 14, Gil Hodges, an original Mets player and beloved manager of the 1969 World Champions. Many of us continue to hope that someday Cooperstown finally comes calling for Gil. Number 41, Tom Seaver, the franchise, 311 wins, three Cy Young Awards, and one of the greatest pitchers ever to step onto a major league mound. Number 42, retired across Major League Baseball in honor of Jackie Robinson, the trailblazing American hero and civil rights pioneer who broke baseball's color barrier. And two more iconic Mets memorialized alongside the retired numbers. Bill Shea, who helped to establish this team and bring National League Baseball back to New York. And Ralph Kiner, the original Mets broadcaster who spent an incredible 53 years on the air and who will remain in our hearts forever. This is the pantheon of New York baseball elites that Mike Piazza joins this evening. Please direct your attention to the Mets' retired numbers atop City Field in the left field corner.
are unbelievable. God bless all you guys. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First and foremost, I want to thank the good Lord for stopping the rain. And with all due respect to Tom Hanks, there is crying in baseball. Tell you what, did you guys enjoy Cooperstown as much as I did? I want you to know one thing. The unofficial theme of my speech was that no one goes into the Hall of Fame alone. Each and every one of you is in there with me. Thank you. You guys know my family by now. They're your family. We are your family. <laughs> I truly and sincerely want to thank friend Jeff Wilbon from the Mets for treating me so, no, no, hey, let me tell you, I'm a team owner now, and it's really difficult, so nobody wants to win more than them, they've been incredible to me and my family, and I thank you, thank you, Fred Jeff, thank you, God bless you guys. My teammates, Nibana, Al, Johnny, everyone else that was in my story. There's not a day goes by that I miss you guys. And I tell these guys over here and those guys over there, enjoy your career. It goes by way too quickly. Yo. Yo. I want to reach back and say a special thanks to Steve Phillips for making the trade to bring me to New York. And Johnny for giving me his number, as I said. I think I better get going so we can try and get this game in tonight. No? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> nice ones are losing. Do you want to hang out for a while? say just a little bit of what it means to have my number retired for this great franchise and for you amazing fans. That means I will always be with you. So every time these guys are down and you need a little bit of inspiration, just give a little peek up there to old Mikey. And know that I'm back home 
watching you guys on TV, saying a lot of prayers, praying for the Mets. <laughs> and listening on the radio, Howie. Sorry about that. I truly love all you guys. And I just want you to know, you have given me an honor that no man deserves and no player deserves. And I think about all that we went, went through and all we lived through from the beginning to the end. And today, it's a new beginning. And I look forward again to coming back many, many years. God bless you guys. God bless your families. And let's go Mets! for a Hall of Fame catcher, our guest of honor will throw tonight's ceremonial first pitch from his old home behind home plate. And going out to the mound to receive the throw is the starting pitcher that Mike caught most frequently over the course of his career, 2000 All-Star and fellow National League champion, It's your pitch. 